Twin Star World Casino and Resort. They just put uh, lobster mac and cheese in front of me without a fork, which is like so cruel. I don't know. <laughs> it smells like water. It, water. Water. It, it, smell <laughs> it smells yeah. so oh good. Try colored wow. tortellini. But I'm stay. telling you, and that's a fillet. I can, surf and turf. I can see that from anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I want to talk about first, though? I want to talk about golf. I'm not a great golfer, Brady, but I know you are, and you had a chance to uh, to hit the golf course. This is my place, and and the, the thing about golf is, like, people are always, oh, I'm not good at golf. Well, it doesn't matter. If you've done putt-putt or top golf or anything else, then golf is a sport that everyone can enjoy, no matter what level you're. Yeah. Just, just hit the mm -hmm. damn thing. Mm -hmm. and, look, the, and there's drink carts. Can we take there, a look at what you've there's, there's drink cart girls <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Check it out. Check it out. I went out and showed you as much as I could. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, golf at Windstar. Why is it when I come to Windstar, I always feel like I need to buy something to wear before I go out? Adidas, Ashworth, Under Armour. This place has everything. Hi, Carrie. Hi. How, how are you? Are you? Uh, I have a uh, tea time for one today. I don't have any friends, but I do like golf. I can get you on the course. You got me set up? All right, very good. Now, I'm probably going to buy some things. Uh, I, I'm on TV. I'm sure you know that. But if you don't, I'm on TV. Uh, I need sunglasses, too. Do you have sunglasses? The case is already open for me. See that? That's how they treat you here. Oakley sunglasses. We'll have six of these uh, to go. And uh, you know which ones I like. This checkered shirt. I don't know. I think it would be terrible if I did that. Shoes. My shoes are a little dirty, but I think I'm going to go with my shoes as they are. Belts, hats, everything here for Windstar. It's all ready. Everything you need when you get here is here. Perfect. I love the bright yellow golf balls, and you go to a lot of driving ranges, and half their golf balls are bad, like cracked. Golf balls out here are always brand new. The tee is level. The ground is beautiful. It's a great way to start your golf day. You just think you're going to do well. Oh, that's the swing of an old guy. Not bad, though. Look at the beauty of this Windstar golf course. 300 acres, native grass everywhere, water all over the place. But the genius is, the water's beside me and behind me. I don't have to hit over it or around it. It's a golfer-friendly facility. I'm ready to play golf. What a beautiful tee box I got here, too. Makes me feel very positive about my opportunities to hit a good shot. Oh, yeah. That one's tasty. Now, see, there are five sets of tee boxes, too. So if you think you're good, you play all the way back. If you think you're not so good and you're just out to have some fun, you play up where that gentleman's playing. Such beauty all over this golf course. Now, I overshot this green a little bit after I hit a pretty good drive. And a lot of times when you hit a ball over a green, it's in some sort of hazard where you can't play it. But Windstar decided to take fairway level grass and put it all the way around and beside all their greens. So you can play all different kinds of fun shots from those spots and you're still not in trouble. And this one's not easy, it's kind of short-sighted. But I do like these shots. That one wasn't bad. Okay, so I left myself about eight feet on this beautiful par four, but the first thing I notice is the greens. They have 27 holes out here. Every green is perfect. Mini Verde Bermuda grass. It's absolutely beautiful. And no matter whether you're a good golfer, a bad golfer, or somewhere in between, we all like putting on golf courses that have good greens. So you got about eight feet here. It breaks a little bit to the right. And it's a little bit downhill, but I know the grass is great. And I pulled it, but it certainly wasn't the grass's fault. So at the Windstar Golf Academy, one of the things they have is a putter fitting room. This is Sam. Sam is the science and motion machine, and he will help me get fitted for the best putter. Science and motion, two of my favorite things. So let's see if we've done the right thing here. We have. 
you get that? Did you get that on the first take? Be honest. Yeah, but, but the, you know that, that's part of that putter aid thing. Is it's basically guiding your putter. I couldn't. I couldn't have missed it if I tried. Wow. For those who want to know why he's so good at it, he played in college. So now we know. Long time ago. <laughs> you had a little upper hand. It was a long time that. ago. <laughs> you know the the academy also. Golf these days doesn't have to be as hard as it used to be because there are so many um, technological things that they can hook you up to and show you what you do right and what you do wrong in a very short period of time. Yeah. Mm. I play with Michael McEwen here a lot. He has gotten so much better in a year. It's amazing. And, and there are little things they call DNA deals where they literally hook you up like, like you're going to have surgery and they will show you what your body does as you go through the swing. Oh, wow. And then they'll I see that. if you can keep your body doing just a little bit more of this, then you'll hit it. It's really because cool. I think if I could get better at it, yes. I would enjoy it more. Absolutely. Because usually it's well, just frustrating. But the great thing about go there. golf is really too fun. is there's, there's handicaps so mm -hmm. you only have to be as good as people who play like you you know what I mean Does that make <laughs> which sense? means I golf with these ladies is what you're saying <laughs> we'll all be crappy and have a great time together yes when Star I'm will a take good care golf cart driver I'll look, drive. Yeah. Look, they brought they brought us forks. Ooh, forks. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what else? We're eating savory now, but they have some of the most delicious sweets around here. I think Amy showed us bedre chocolate. We're gonna do that after the break. Oh, oh gosh, I just spilled it.